Yeah. You know, we knew studying them up, Coach Hamilton, they have done a fantastic job. And you know, uh, they've got some play. No, number two, he looked like a college player. <laughs> and so we're proud of our young men. We only had uh, two days of practice to get ready for that game. With the, the flooding and, and proud of so many of these kids that volunteered helping families in the community. You know, a lot of times we just judge on winning and losing ball games, but we're trying to take it. You know, it's been neat to watch these kids to see their heart. So we're proud of uh, the serving that a lot of these kids have been doing this week. Well, well, Coach, what makes Brandon such an impact player for this team? Brandon Tillman? Yes. He's a blessed athlete. He's, he's very blessed. I thought him and Davon Johnson had a great game. Austin Pollard stepped up big, ran the ball very well. Uh, first quarter belonged to South Aiken, and then it was switching back and forth. And they had some big plays in the game, but again, you got to give a lot of credit to South Aiken and Coach Hamilton. They have done a great job. They've turned that thing around. They, a couple weeks ago, they beat Spring Valley, so that's all we had to tell our kids. You know, Spring Valley beat us in Chamboree. You know, the Jamboree is not a real game, but I, we, we felt as a coaching staff we had to play really well to beat South Bay. Brandon's versatility was on display again tonight, you know, running, passing, the big pass catch, which really kind of got you going. That, that, yeah, that was, that was a point. great call by, you know, our, our assistant coaches did a great job. That was a great call by Coach, uh, Coach Ash. You know, you'll usually run – the ball out of that formation a few times to set up that play. He just went straight for it. And Brandon made a phenomenal catch with two guys on him. That did. That was a spark that showed our guys, let's start playing. You, you're pretty good. You've been doing this one. And then you use him sparingly on defense, and he can make big plays for you on defense. Well, that's where he'll probably play in college. And uh, is, is outside linebacker. And he's he's a very talented guy. you got to be careful because he's playing a bunch on defense and he's too tired to play offense. So you have to really pick your spots with him? Exactly. you got to pick and choose where we put him in. Well, Coach, we know how you feel about cats, and you got cats this Friday with Lexington. They're coming off a 54 What day? Let me tell you about Lexington. They ain't no normal cats. They're the wild cats. <laughs> they, we've been watching them. And, again, you're talking about Coach Steph and their staff. Will Newell, phenomenal job they've done over there. And uh, they've got some really good playmakers. Uh, they got two guys in the Shrine Bowl. They probably have two more. And so they've done a really good job. I don't know how they did tonight. Against yeah, they won 54-33. 54. We can't score 54 points on air. <laughs> <laughs> 54 points. That's that's pretty awesome. And that'll be. We'll have our hands full Friday night over there. Well, among the kids, I mean, being so close to each other, how big of a rivalry is it? Well. These kids and those kids, what they don't realize, they love each other. They respect each other. They've grown up together. They went to the same nursery. Uh, they gone uh, elementary school, middle school. They all played together. They all, a lot of them played together in the ninth grade. They had a really good ninth grade team when our kids and their kids were together. Josh and I joke all the time. We, if it was still a big old school, you know, one of the biggest in the state, that team would be unstoppable. And so now we got half those kids, they got half, and, and you carry on and, and do the best you can. But uh, they're they a really, really good football team. And finally, off the subject, Coach, it's been announced tonight Coach Spurrier is going to retire, he's going to announce the press conference. Just your thoughts on what he's meant to this coaching profession. Well, you know, he's a guy that we went and watched uh, in the 90s when they won a national championship at Florida. And he's just always done a phenomenal job. You know, you hate to hear that because you think the world of, of him and his wife, Jerry, she's she's phenomenal. There's an old coach told me one time, behind every good man's a great woman. Well, behind Coach Spurrier is a phenomenal, a phenomenal lady uh, in Jerry Spurrier. And, uh, and she loves those kids. And so I know that's, uh, that's a very tough decision on his part. Thank you.